I hope everyone had a good Mother's Day. Um, it's like, it's, I think, like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Uh, just getting ready for bed. But I wanted to make a video on a, uh, I guess, like a, um, a race update or race report. Not really a race report. I kind of, because I haven't done a review on the stadium truck, but it's also kind of a race report. So I'm going to show that. Um, I ran it yesterday at our serious race first run. Um, it was three calls and mains um, The truck ran fine. Uh, I actually did pretty good I actually did better than what I thought I was gonna do But let me turn the camera around so I can show the truck and then we'll look into it and see what see what everything I got and stuff so um, Some stuff that I'm kind of funky about But uh, it handles really well. It breaks really well. It's got um it's got, well, I'll turn it on and I'll show you. Big old knobs. All tired. But it's got a 17.5 uh, Trinity motor that I'm borrowing from a fellow driver before I decide to buy it. Um, it runs really good. I got, my opinion is... 7131 is what I'm running on it. Um it handles really good. Um it's got really good it doesn't do it doesn't pop wheelies or anything. So it does pretty good. Oh and it's got the spikes in the back. They are shoe marker tires. Um, spike silver are the back ones. I think the spike silver and then the rib the rib they're called rib yell are the front ones. So cheating guys. We've got notes. Um, what else? Weight wise, the truck actually is pretty pretty well balanced. The only thing that I didn't like was uh when I would hit something I pop the steering arms, the steering control arms, not the or what do you call them? The steering links. These kept popping out. But um dude the truck the truck ran really well. I just have to it runs nowhere near like the buggy does. So it handles a bit different. It's a bit heavy. So I wasn't like jumping all crazy. It wasn't, I was just trying to keep it calm, trying to be consistent. So I wasn't, you know, it was my first first time running it. And uh, I got some good track time. I didn't even get to test it before the race because I got there a little late. Um, I had to run some errands in the morning and do some stuff here in the yard. So... I didn't have time to, uh, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. And I'm running a Protec servo. And when you get a Protec servo, you get the metal horn. So I'm using the metal horn. Really good. Um, what is the hobby wing? I, I, gotta, I gotta go get the box for the hobby wing. I use 3M tape. And it didn't work so well. It was kind of loose. So I'm using another mm -hmm. type of um, double-sided tape that I got from the shop. And it works way better. I put the battery as far forward as I could to keep the weight in the front. And it seems to work really well. I don't have any weights like the buggy. The buggy, I have a weight here and a weight over here. Um, this truck doesn't have any weight on it. And remember, everyone said that there, I was going to have to put weight up here. But honestly, I the um, I don't need the weight. There's the motor. Um, it's got I think it's thirty forty shock weight, and I don't know what the diff has because I bought the truck as a roller already built from a fellow a fellow racer, and um, he's been doing it a long time, so he did he did really well. I mean, he does really well. See the carpet fuzz. Um, the oh, so one thing I did have to do, I had to uh, tighten up my my uh, slipper because it was it was uh, singing on me. And then there's my thirty one thirty one pitch pinion. But uh, man, I I really liked it. I think I need to get more track time. And um, these big old big old knobs they grip really well. I think maybe one other guy had these big knobs on it. Um, 
I like him. Um, I think some other guy was running the little bitty ones, the little bitty spikes. I don't know who makes them. I think Protec, Proline, Proline makes them. Sorry. Mm-hmm. But um, oh yeah, and then here's the body. So I have another body that I'm gonna paint because I just want to use this one for the big races. And you can see another truck was on top of me, and he was. You see the <laughs> tread marks. But um, it handled pretty well. It's got some rub marks here from the shock. Um, I don't see any more damage. And then up here. There was one incident where I was going straight. And I smacked the wall. And I, and both wheels went out. Because I popped both. Because I popped both the uh, ball cups. So. But. There she is. Sorry about the mess in the background. I got a, a grapefruit. But there she is. And then today, in the evening, I was messing with my Agama Nitro. And I'm having a couple issues. I had it running, but it's um, it's going crazy. So I need to either get it tuned right or get my uh, throttle linkage just right. But... I'll do a separate video. I just, like I said, I just wanted to show off this guy, cause this guy looks really cool. But there she is, guys. I'm gonna put a couple clips from yesterday's race. Um, I think they were like buggy races. One of the, I think it's a short clip. Well, they're all short, but one of them. Um, we have a four-wheel drive class, buggy class, and um, three cars all broke. They all broke control arms. Um, there is a part on the track that everyone seems to be hitting. So uh, two cars broke back to back, and you'll see the clip where I put them in front of me because I was marshalling in the middle, and you'll see that. Um, and then you'll see the the there's two jumps back to back on the back wall. They're pretty cool. Everyone was hitting them pretty nice. So. Um, yeah, guys, um, check those out. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll put what I'm running on this stadium truck. Oh, and then it's a Schumacher Storm. I don't know if y'all saw the sign, but I'll put all the details in the description. And uh, I will see y'all in another video.